All right, here we go guys. We're gonna start doing some work on the 79. So with J-Max, uh, with the super chassis, they actually pre-drilled some holes for your tow plug and some Anderson plugs. But unfortunately, there's, there's a bit of steel behind. So what we're gonna do today is um, drill them out and then start installing uh, the Anderson plug and the tow plug for the new van. Uh, here's a bit of a look what it looks like. All uh, right, so here's, it's a Toyota part number kit. Uh, that's the part number there. And it's, um, it's pretty much just a plug and play kit. So uh, I'm gonna um, adapt into it to use the, uh, the brake harness. Um, but yeah, we'll run through it and see how we go. All right guys, so what I've done so far is I'm in the process of installing the trailer plug on the car and uh, I'm doing the brake control at the same time. So what I've done is I've made a bit of a, a bundle for myself and the um, brake pickup and the electric brakes are running as a pair down the side of the car. So, and how I've done that, and I did this on the Prada, it worked really well. So, because uh, I do know that some cars now have problems. There's a ECU that's in the back of the 79 with the factory tow harness. So all I've done is tapped into the brake signal wire uh, at the back of the ECU. So that pretty much runs from here straight down to the trailer plug. Uh, so I've just tapped into that wire there on the back side of the ECU so it shouldn't affect any of the cruise control and all that stuff. Uh, and like I said, it worked on the Prado and that had a lot more features. Um, and then yeah, I just cut off the, the factory uh, plug that was on here and I've soldered in uh, the brake wire there too. So now I'm gonna bundle all this up and then I'll run to the front of the car and show you where I put the um, brake controller up the front. But yep, that's it. All right guys, so I've made some progress. Um, I've, uh, I've ran the wires all the way down the chassis. Um, it's really good. J-Max have really thought about it. If you have a look, there's actually a, um, a wiring path that you can um, zip tie to the whole way along the chassis rail, which is good. So the guys have thought about it. I noticed it when I looked at the wiring on the other side to see which wiring I was gonna run down the side, uh, which side of the car I was gonna run down. And um, I figured I'd just go down this one because there's no wiring there already. So yep, I've got up all the way through, come up into the cab through the floor, uh, just under the passenger footwell, just because uh, it's a bit hard to get up through to the engine bay. So uh, I'm gonna run the, the 12 volt up through the cab and through the main firewall. And um, I found a nice little spot up in here for the Red Arc tow pro to go that no one's really mentioned before for a 79. Uh, I didn't have to do any drilling or anything. It's, there was one with a, uh, a captive nut that I could use one of my existing screws in, and then I just put a nut and bolt through a, a hole at the back there, and it fits perfect. Uh, there's clearance and everything there, so it's really good. And now I'm about to pull through the firewall, so I thought we'd stop and show you uh, how I get things through the firewall. I use a bit of tongue and groove from two-story houses, so if you can get your hands on some, that's what you want. And uh, so I've pretty much poked it through the firewall. See, so yeah, I just poked that through the firewall. It was a little bit difficult. Um, I just had to nick the boot on this side a little bit and then the tongue groove went straight through. So what I'm doing is I've got my, um, my bead cable for my Anderson plug and then I've got uh, my power cable, uh, which meets the spec of uh, the requirements for the tow pro and then this red one's just another pull through in case i need to go through the firewall again that way i've got i'm not trying to get through again i can just pull through the existing hole i've made um because i've got to install the uhf and stuff yet so that's got to go through but uh yeah we'll pull this through now and then uh, i'll give you a bit more of a rundown and where i've put everything for the tow pro and uh, how it'll look when it's done all right so um i've just finished up uh, doing the soldering for the tow pro, uh, the power, the brakes, and the uh, actual trailer brakes, or the brake signal. So I just pulled out the cup holder here, so I could um, poke all the wires out here and I did all my soldering here, because um, I managed to tuck it up 
up and under the dash there. No, I haven't seen anyone comment on any 79 pages, and I think that's the perfect spot. No clearance, everything's good there. Um, just in behind here, and there was I didn't have to do any drilling, any bracket making, anything. It was perfect. And then to get my uh, switch across the other side, all I did was pull out the ashtray, and I sort of just uh, pull the driver's side apart, we'll walk over there and have a look. Uh, and I jiggled it through and just waited and patiently felt it and um, grabbed it and pulled it through. But yeah, I've still got to, um, I'll put um, some protective wrap just like I have all on the other wiring. I just ran out this afternoon, so I've got to run down to the super cheap and buy some more. But uh, I'll put a wrap on that and then zip tie it all in place um, this afternoon or tomorrow. Uh, I'll give you a look what it looks like when it's all finished. But um, we're going to have a look at the other side uh, and then uh, I'll do under the bonnet and show you that. All right, so I've mounted my button up here. Uh, this is all pretty easy to pull apart. It just pops off. Um, I think there was two bolts to take off this bottom panel. Uh, just be careful. You uh, can scratch up your um, steering column and that if you're not careful there. But I just popped up and uh, I just fed the wire down through uh, and across and that's where I've had the ashtray removed and I sort of just fed it across and then waited um, until I finally got it. And then yeah, pulled it up into that spot and uh, I just put a couple of cable ties along the route uh, just to hold it steady. But that's it, the dash comes apart really easy. I uh, had no dramas there, it's just all, all pull off. I think I had to undo three bolts and that was it. <laughs> For this, there's just three little press tabs there, and you sort of just pop it down like that, and it comes out and then slides forward. And that's how I got into where I've mounted the brake controller up in there. So nice tidy little spot. Uh, I don't think there's any dramas, clearance is good. So um, if you're looking for a spot to do it in the new models, that's a perfect spot. I didn't have to drill any holes, just use factory stuff. So and it's nice and rigid, not moving anywhere. So it's perfect. Um, all right, so we'll start putting it back together. So if you've got a basic understanding of how, you know, 12 volt wiring works, I think you'd be right. Uh, you just got to follow the manufacturing, uh, the manufacturer's recommendations in the book for the wiring. Um, I just got all mine online, bought a couple of reels because I'm using a fair bit of wiring at the moment. But yeah, it's all in Red Arc's book. Uh, I won't quote it because it might have changed. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty simple job. If you've got any questions or you'd you'd like to know how I did something if I didn't put it in the video, let me know and I'll, I'll drop it in the comments. But um, all right guys, we're just putting the video together for the um, the Tow Pro and the uh, trailer plug install. And I realized that we forgot to do a bit of a, uh, show you what it looks like when it was all finished. So we've come out here to quickly do it tonight so we can upload the video in the morning. But um, we'll run you through what it looks like and where everything is and, and how I zip tied it all together. So come down here and we'll show you what it looks like. So this is where the uh, the seven pin, uh, this will get changed to a 12 pin. Uh, I just waiting for one to come in the mail. But um, so that's the standard Toyota one. And I mounted the, the ECU that I talk about in the video is just mounted uh, up in here. And that's that's where we um, tapped in behind that. So behind that towards the trailer plug for the um, brake signal pickup. There's the Anderson plug as well, which I, I put in at the same time while we're there working. Uh, and then up in here, I don't know if you can see it through the night, but these are all the fuses uh, and they're all relevant to the um, trailer plug harness. So there's a fuse for, you know, your clearance lights, your indicators, your stop uh, and your tail lights. Uh, and I can't remember what the other one was for. But yeah, it's pretty much a fuse for each of the lights that go back to the caravan. So if you have any problems on the van, it doesn't blow the car lights, it'll just blow those fuses and you can troubleshoot what's going on. So. That's a nifty little thing as well, so it's well worth buying the factory Toyota harness. 
uh, to do this yourself as well, all plug and play. Uh, and that's the factory plug there, which it pretty much just plugged into. And then I've just zip tied up the top there because um, the Brown Davis tank is tucked in on the other side. So it wouldn't fit in there neatly without rubbing. So that's why it's sitting up the top. But yeah, that's it. So it pretty much runs from there, the whole way up the side, as you saw in bits of the video uh, and up into the front there. But again, any comments, drop them down below. Uh, if you'd like to know anything further, let us know in the comments. Uh, and thanks for watching this one, guys. And make sure you hit that like button and subscribe uh, if you're getting stuff out of the channel. Cheers, guys, and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,